Cats can run faster, but foxes can run longer. If he ran, he could head her off before she reached her minions at the outpost. Well, he did love a good chase. It was a bit windy up here. Superman issue number one, in mint condition, in a jar he'd broken. He planned to keep breaking things until he had the whole series. anyway. He was closing on her. He could smell her fear. He tried not to think about the interrogators at the secret base. What did they do to her? Maybe it didn't have to end that way. Maybe he could talk to her. But, after all, there were worse things the Imperials had done to friends of his. Bernardo reached the outpost. The Imperials there were no match for him. Soon after, 
Zenobia limped up the path. When she realized he was already in front of her, she didn't even try to run. Oh, you left without saying goodbye. Again, he said, please. You're enjoying this a little too much. She said, shaken. Oh, spare us the chit-chat, would you? Said Lapido as he shackled her hands so she couldn't throw spells. She knows all his plans. All the way back to the far era. Lapino nagged Renato about how the interrogators would pry all the intel out of Zenobia. How that would turn the tides in the imminent battle. All they had to do was take her to the rebel's secret base. Renato didn't like to think about what the interrogators would do to her. Couldn't he just talk to her? From the Nexus, Renardo could see the fear in Zenobia's eyes. I can't take it to those creatures at the base. He whispered to Lapino. Ah, you've gone soft. Soft in the head. We captured her for what she knows. I'll take her to the mountains. Tell all the horrible things the Emperor's done. Yeah, believe me, she'll turn. And he turned the wheel. The hell you will, shouted Lapino, and he grabbed the wheel back from him. The two of them wrestled for control of the ship. It shot off like a mad sparrow. Suddenly, Renato was falling. 